sorry, still wizard have to come. My last question is for Rick. You've said that you're our voice in uh, Ottawa, you're looking out for the community, you're bringing in all these grants. There's one grant that you brought in that I liked. It's for a group called Built, which found over 891 jobs for people suffering from mental health problems and more than paid for itself. But when that, when the, when, because of the, all these corporate tax giveaways, when the government didn't have enough money to meet our needs, the money was pulled from that, from that uh, group in 2011. Why couldn't you deliver for us then? Why couldn't you save this group that's more than paying for itself? Uh, well, number one, we actually are receiving more corporate tax uh, from the country than we, than we did 10 years ago than we ever have, actually, in terms of revenue to the federal government. And number two, uh, um, the, the application uh, for that program was actually uh, time limited, and uh, they didn't apply uh, for, for, for when, it, when the next round of applications came through, they applied for it in a different municipality. They, well, they, they actually, they were told that the reason why they, they weren't, didn't get the grant was not because they applied it in the wrong place or different place, but because there wasn't enough money, that there was too many, there was more applicants than there was needs. If there is all this bonanza from corporate taxes that are coming in, which I, I don't think so, that's the reason actually why our public services are being cut, because the revenue is cut because of these tax giveaways. But if there is such a bonanza, then why couldn't it cover it built? It's more than paying for itself. It's creating a lot, a lot more jobs than any of the other grants that you brought in that you said. You yourself decided tonight, 10 here, 20 there, 30 there jobs. This group produced jobs for over 891 people across the country. Any, uh, I think the essence of your question is that uh, any time an organization in this community puts forward an application uh, that uh, is in some way attached to the federal government or would be approved through the federal government, depending on the ministry it would apply through, uh, I'm always there to help and work with, with that organization. Um, and I think part of uh, the deficit that we face here in our community from federal attention uh, is the fact that um, we, didn't, we didn't have a, a local plan, a local understanding of how we were going to grow our community. Uh, we you said you're our voice there. Why can't you speak up for them and save them? I, I speak up and attempt uh, to assist uh, each and every application that goes forward to the federal government. It doesn't mean that each and every application is going to be approved. But I can tell you whether it's but this was a no-brainer. This was this was making more making you, more. You love the jobs. program, but there are a lot of programs that are a no-brainer, and a lot of programs that whether it's dealing with uh, mental health or health issues or uh, just building up um, our community, uh, there are many many organizations that deserve funding and a chance to um, implement the programs. Thank you very much.